Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video. Today we are going to be discussing a title update 11 that includes the Locust Sniper confirmed to be back, new maps Mercy and Harbor Haze, new gear packs and so much more in Gears 4. Title update 11 will be going live today, releasing on Tuesday, September 5th, 2017, which is crazy to think about as we are already 11 months into this game, Gears 4 just being out. As we can expect though, two new maps will be releasing it today available for season pass holders as always in the developer playlist early the two new maps include the return of mercy and harbor haze mercy being the classic battleground set in the hometown of dom santiago's wife maria makes it a much anticipation return in gears 4 set in the end stages of winter the fights you know and love are all here from the close quarters pew battles of the church to the fight to dominate the center and the high ground within the map Everything is just about to go down once again just like it used to in the old Gears games. Prepare for nerve shaking combat and harbor haze. This new take on harbor is set during the day introducing a brand new mist mechanic that envelopes the entire battlefield of the map. The mist can roll in from the sea at any given time dramatically reducing visibility and providing the perfect opportunity for surprise attacks or sneaky flanks from any player within the map itself. Moving on though matchmaking improvements as previously announced already in the past will be arriving in the coming weeks and to be noted not today within the update itself going live if you didn't know already matchmaking is switching from a region lock system to a brand new quality of service system which should be just improving the overall online experience for everybody no matter where you live in the world and no, no matter what region you are playing on rank season 2 has been confirmed to be scheduled for mid-september as well so most likely likely either Tuesday or Friday of next week I'm guessing where the Kirsten studio will be ending the first ranked season and handing out those juicy nice reward weapon skins for those who qualify of course and also resetting a rank so everybody will need to be playing through their placement matches once again to get a new game mode rank for the second season that is upcoming. For new gear packs as we've been used to now two new packs will be releasing this month in September with it being confirmed to be starting with the return of the Locust Sniper. Yes, the Locust Sniper character will be amongst the first gear pack possibly, meaning that we could maybe expect a new Locust gear pack first, including the other tease Locust characters that we've all spoke about in previous videos. Now for some reason the Locust Sniper isn't this month's craftable character, which is strange as there isn't actually one at all, as the Cursion Studio have confirmed they are going to be doing something a little bit different this month, with Octus tweeting the following, to myself in regards to the Locust Sniper. The Locust Sniper character will not be craftable, but in a gear pack, no new craftable character this month. We will be doing something different on that front this month in brackets to be confirmed. Lastly, the future of Gears of War 4 was briefly addressed as well, as of course, everybody, you, myself included, are obviously wondering as we get towards the end of its cycle now what the next year or so holds for this game knowing that next month is going to be the last feature update of this game so far. While the Carson Studio have announced they will be supporting this game with a wealth of new content events and much more throughout the year of 2018 with a few things including the following our Xbox One X enhancement update featuring 4K for the brand new console, new gear packs which is so good to hear containing new characters and new weapon skins to add to your own growing constant collection, monthly versus and horde events with exclusive challenge based rewards, major seasonal events as well like the 11 years of gears, gearsmas and so forth, rank seasons for every few months and lastly just continue balance improvements to both versus and horde mode to try and create the best possible experience while playing this game online. So there you have it guys, Gears of War 4 title update 11 is here including the return of the Locust Sniper character, new maps, Harbor Haze and Mercy, a few things about new gear packs and also what the future holds for this game so far. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think, what is your opinion on Mercy and as well the Locust Sniper returning in this game, but also what does it sound like to you with the future of Gears 4 and where this game will be heading in the next year or so? Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next one.